Hello fellow traders, so welcome to a new trading week. So we were thinking what videos to create for you, what kind of content and uh, we actually look at gold and we noticed that uh, there was a big move in gold over here, you can see. So we figured uh, we want to do a case study on uh, gold for you so that you could uh, identify how to catch this kind of movement. Of course, um, this kind of movement don't happen every day, but um, just let's try, just try to dissect why this happened over here. Okay, so this was of course a swing low which resulted in this uh, movement here. Okay, so the question is how do we get this level over here? I think that's a question you always have to ask yourself. Uh, if you do some back test, you know, you do some uh, analysis, right, of uh, previous uh, moves, always ask yourself like, how do I know, um, how can I pinpoint the exact turning point? Swing low, swing high. So in this case, you see that uh, it's actually a very clean setup. You have a swing low here, you have another point here, and you know it just spike here. More importantly, it's actually the 61.8, okay? Uh, I think we, know, we, we spend a lot of time ex uh, explaining that uh, we look at 61.8 as an 8.6. So in future videos, we will cover more into depth why these two levels are key. In this case, you can talk. Uh, you can see that sixty one point eight uh, was respected. So today, I like to share with you something that has took us, uh, I think, easily eight years to figure out, right? So that is that is um actually something that a lot of people don't know. And in this video, we share it to you for free because uh, we always want to add value to you. So what is this um concept that we're trying to teach you right now? Uh, this concept is actually a minimum time requirement for concept consolidation. So let me repeat, minimum time uh, requirement for consolidation. Of course, you have movements which are, you know, just pretty short, just a couple hours before it bursts down, correct? But normally, there's a minimum time that uh, a consolidation needs to go through in order to have a big movement. So of course, uh, the general rule is simple, right? Um, the longer the consolidation, the bigger the movement. Okay, I mean, this is kind of no-brainer. Everyone knows this. But then, I think the more important question is, what then is the minimum length of time? Right? Because we want to know like, oh, is this movement, uh, is, you know, has, is the market ready to move? So, we, we found out in our analysis, you know, back test, we ran through a lot of data. We found that um, three days is actually optimal. Three days. So I repeat, three days is the minimum length of time you need for a consolidation to expect a decent movement. Decent movement. Let me repeat, decent movement. Not just uh, any movement because sometimes, as I mentioned, you see, you know, this is just uh, one candle, two candle, three candle, four candles. That's just 12 hours. Then you have a big movement down. Uh, this is kind of rare, okay? So, we, we found that a uh, minimum length of time of three days is good. So, previously in our previous video, uh, if you haven't watched, uh, we introduced to you this indicator, multi-time period charts. Okay, let me just put it in. So, one quick way you can tell whether something is, uh, how many days is it? Let me just, uh, so this one box over here is one day, correct? So, let's look at this entire pattern here. Uh, this pattern here, let me just highlight. This entire pattern here okay, that resulted in uh, this movement here, right? This whole big movement up. So the question is, how many days pattern was this? Let's count. So this one box, this two box, three box, four box, five box, six box, seven box, eight box. So that's eight days. So now you ask me why did price actually go up? You know, burst up like that. Answer is simple because it's been consolidating for eight days. Okay, so maybe um, let's just take a look at an, another example. I don't know if I can find it. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, okay, let's just ignore um, you know, like whether this is a good support level. Let's just look at the time. Okay, so if we look at this entire pattern here, this pattern here, this consolidation pattern here, it resulted in this movement here. Correct. How many, box, how many days were this? One day, two days, three days, four days, five days, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine days before, you know, it resulted in this movement. So the lesson here is that uh, consolidation really takes time. Uh, and if you realize so that um, it's three days. 
So normally the market starts on Monday. Today is Monday, right? Uh, today is Monday, um, the uh, 3rd of June. So Monday, it consolidates. Tuesday, it consolidates. Wednesday, whip source Wednesday happen. And that's why movement always naturally happens on Thursday, three days. Okay. So that is also the other insight that we found that uh, we, after Whipsaw Wednesday comes trending Thursday. Of course, it's dependent on other factors such as the Forex calendar. But I think for this video, we just want to drill, drill into your, you know, teach you that uh, the minimum length of the time of a healthy movement is normally three days. So if any questions, just write into us and uh, hit the subscribe button because we'll be creating more videos like this, right? Lessons will cost us a lot of money to learn. Right, in terms of uh, learning for other people as well as uh, in losses, you know, losing money. So we, we don't want you to make the same mistake. So definitely subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.